Uh, well, it was a beautiful weekend if you didn't have to be out driving right. and all this, right? But yeah. the winter snow makes these gorgeous winter waterfall series, and it's back at the Cleveland Metro Parks. So that means you can hike your way through winter to really witness so many of Mother Nature's gorgeous creations. You can witness the sights and sounds of our local waterways. And with the temperatures warming up, that's perfect time to do it, too. Mm -hmm. For more on today's Metro Parks Monday, we welcome Jake Coderna. He is live from Mill Creek Falls. I'm sure the water's mm -hmm. flowing pretty well. Yeah, it's uh, so when we picked this spot on Friday, it hadn't snowed yet. So you, we had this beautiful ice sheet <laughs> that's now covered in snow. It's a little harder to see the waterfall, but we are at Mill Creek Falls, and it's one of the most spectacular waterfalls that we have in Cleveland Metro Parks. It's the tallest waterfall in Cuyahoga County. And uh, even though it's covered in snow right now, we're going to, like you said, we're going to warm up a little bit and have some good views of it later on in the week. But um, we have our winter waterfall hiking series that goes uh, through the end of February. And we go not only to Mill Creek Falls, but also several hidden waterfalls in Bedford Reservation, a few in Brecksville and South Chagrin and all these different spots that uh, give you a, an inside look on what our parks look like in winter. Um, it's, it's really a spectacular time to get outside and, and see all of these winter features we have in Cleveland Metro Parks. Jake, it is gorgeous. Now, we mentioned hike. So how far of a trek are we talking about? Like, I, I understand it's a couple miles, and it can even be longer depending upon um, which water series you're going to be hiking to. Yeah, so with the snow, people tend to move a little slower, so we tend mm -hmm. to keep the hikes around two to three miles. Uh, there's one or two that are a bit longer, but the descriptions on clevelandmetroparks.com, uh, they will tell you how far the distance is that you're going to walk. And uh, it's a varying terrain. Some of them, if you're just going down to like Viaduct Falls or Great Falls of Tinkers Creek and uh, Bedford Reservation, is like a 15-minute walk where mm -hmm. on paved trails where others, I took a group down to, we call it Hogback Falls in um, Bedford the other day and we're sliding down a hillside to get to this uh, beautiful waterfall that's tucked in a ravine so there's all sorts of different terrain that you're gonna see and that's where you can go to clevelandmetroparks.com and check out on the website all the program descriptions we've got almost 20 hikes throughout January and February checking out these waterfalls and so there's a lot to see really like a great workout and then you get your yep. reward which is to witness these gorgeous waterfalls it's beautiful yeah, the workout for sure, because you have to walk down these hills to get to see a lot of the waterfalls, mm -hmm. and you feel like you're cold when you get there, and you're shedding layers as you get <laughs> out at the end. So I bet. Uh, it's really a great bonding experience for a lot of the yeah. people, too. I met some of my favorite guests in the park I've met on these winter waterfall hikes, so much so that we plan other hikes outside of them to go check these spots out. So oh, cool. it's really a cool time if you're looking to get an intro into winter hiking or anything like that. It's a good hike series to start out on because you meet some really great people on these walks. Well, Jake, we just put up the information about the uh, registration as well. Hey, we got about 10 seconds. Which one's your favorite? Uh, my favorite. Oh, God. Uh, Hogback Falls. I just yep. did it on Saturday, but I'm doing it again in February. Really an awesome spot. Okay. Very cool. Jake Aderna from the Cleveland Metro Parks talking about that winter waterfall series. Thanks, Jake. Appreciate you being out there today. Yep. Thank you. You see these in the summer, but to oh, look yeah. at them in the winter, it's a whole different. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah it is gorgeous. Something yeah. fun to do. Especially if the sun's out, it reflects yeah. on, the, on the ice and stuff. Yeah, and he said like a great bonding experience mm -hmm. for the family.